We back up in this thing, man. Hey, I seen the last comments from my last in real life football video, and I was really overwhelmed from all the comments that I got. And I seen a lot of people say, kick the ball against the wall. Now, it took me a long time to find a wall, but I was like, oh, I can go to my old elementary school and find me a wall to kick. I found me a drill on YouTube by Become Elite. His channel link is in the description. The YouTube title was like, full training session using a wall or something like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and follow that. Hopefully I can improve my touch. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just go straight up to a wall and I'm just gonna do one touches about, you know, two to three yards away from the wall with just my right foot. And for this, I'm just gonna do about 200 passes. After that, I'm gonna go to my left foot and do the same exact thing. Bro want me to do 200 side kicks close up to the wall with my right and left foot. 200 of them. I'm not wearing my cleats right now because I don't know if you're supposed to work cleats on concrete when it comes to like kicking on a wall or something like that. So I just got the forces on right now. So, hey, let's see what goes down. All right, when I first started passing the ball to the wall, it felt weird. I ain't gonna hold you because I probably haven't passed a single pass <laughs> since the time I started playing football in real life. Cause you know, I'm a glory hunter. <laughs> I'm looking for them highlights. I'm trying to go out there, hit some knuckle balls, hit some goddamn curve balls. But I seen a lot of people in the comments say I should work on my pass. And so I was like, all right, that's a bit, that's what I did. And I tried my hardest to try and pinpoint the passes into one section. But, you know, of course, you know, since I don't really do passes like that, the ball went all left ways, right ways. Also, the wind was blowing. And as you see on the footage right there, the ball kept on popping up because I kept, I kept striking the ball at the bottom of it, man. You see right here, I was already getting tired because it was hot outside. But I kept striking the ball at the bottom and I was trying my hardest to strike it in the middle so it can bounce right back. I kind of struggled with my right leg, but it's all a part of learning, you know, getting the first touch. I tried to pass like specifically to the same spot over and over, but it's harder than it looks. I never really kicked before with my left leg or attempted to pass or try to uh, hit it with the side of my foot. So it's gonna be kind of challenging. It's gonna be sloppy, the ball gonna be going everywhere. But hey man, 200 with the left leg. Let's see where it goes. Man. All right, now it was time for my goddamn left leg. And also with the passes, I have never passed before, and I also have never even attempted a single shot with my left leg. But I actually did. It actually felt better than I expected to. Why did it feel more natural shooting with my left leg than it did my right leg? Now, my left leg don't have as much control, I would say. Well, my right leg don't really got control. But my left leg don't really got that much control. But I actually was, I, I, I hit a little mean hit streak with my left leg, bro. Now, this is where I started feeling a little woozy. Dead ass serious. Look at me, hands on my hips. For some reason, staring at that ball going back and forth, back and forth was making me dizzy. I did not feel good, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. I left my water all the way at the car and everything. Look at my demeanor. I'm like, whew. God damn, boy. I looked up in the sky like, bro, do I really want to do this? <laughs> I'm a mama. 200 though, man. Hey. I low key just figured something out. Y'all see this on the ground? On the latter half of them kicks, I use these as guidelines. I use these two blue lines as guidelines to try and kick straight the middle. Don't touch the blue lines. And it actually helped. I was actually like hidden inside the blue line. So. Maybe I just need some guidelines, some visualization or something to help me kick a target instead of just kicking straight at the wall, just like trying to get it back, I don't know. But we completed step one of that training. I'm gonna step back about five to 10 yards away from the wall. I'm gonna do the same thing with the right foot, but two touches. I'm gonna hit the ball a little bit harder and so it bounces back to me and so I have to really work on taking that first touch and it's a great touch. All right, so next drill, we finna back up five feet and do two touches this time. It's 200 touches on each foot again, but we do two touches, so I'm back kind of far. Kick it, come back, touch, kick it again, right foot, left foot. Let's see what goes in. Now, y'all already know I struggle with this drill. Look at that first shot. What the hell was that, man? Now, that's what I was struggling on all day, my power. I wasn't kicking the ball hard enough. I don't know why I be kicking it like I be scared of the damn ball. I wasn't putting enough pressure in the ball. The ball wasn't even coming back to your boy most of the time. The ball say he needs somebody that's going to hit him a little bit harder than I was on my mama. But, hey, I ended up kind of finding my way. I still was hitting the ball under it, and it kept popping up. And I was trying to focus on hitting it in the middle again. I'm actually kind of satisfied with my touch when the ball comes back. 
bro. That wasn't a good example right there. But this is a good example right here. Look at that touch. Usa touch. You know, yeah, calm, the, calm the ball down a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Calm it down a little bit. And keep in mind, I ain't even got on no cleats. I got on these big ass blocks. You know what I'm saying? And I'm still coming in like that. Now it's time for my left leg when it comes to the two touch passion drill and i ain't gonna hold you like i said earlier my left leg really impressed me when i first started doing the passes uh from this deep of course power was an issue with my left leg anyway since this is not my main leg but it's like my right leg got more power but my left leg got more control though look at that touch you know what i'm saying oh look at that touch right there oh i ain't gonna hold you that was pretty that was pretty look this is about 10 in a row when I pull everything together, I'm really finna be ambidextrous on some goddamn human son. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna be a, a black human son. I'm both legged out there. Left leg, right leg, it don't matter. I'm booting with both of them. But this around that time, look, right there. It, I damn near almost fell, boy. Look at my posture. I'm like, bro, I'm, I'm really finna go home, bro. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. It's hot. It's Texas. Middle of the summer, I'm outside. I'm damn near for the pass out, boy. Hey, shout out to y'all who told me to go shoot on the wall because it's definitely getting me way, way, way more reps than what I was previously doing and just shooting in a goal by myself and having to run and go get the ball. So when y'all give me this feedback, when it comes to this wall ball stuff, I'm gonna be on it, man. I'm gonna be something like a midfielder, Iniesta, Xavi. I'm gonna go about five to 10 yards away from the wall and just do one touch. And then what I'm gonna do is start to lace the ball a little bit harder. And I'm just gonna pass the ball hard so it comes back to me. And then I'm gonna do a positive turn. What I'm gonna do is just work on my first time volleys. I ain't gonna lie. I just looked at the next drills I had to do for that goddamn training thing. Boy, I'm out of there. I really came at a bad time. I just got done eating Burger King. My stomach a little messed up. It feel like I'm finna throw up at any minute. I got my water bottle here. I'm gonna resume the second half of training some other time. I don't even know if I'm gonna upload this or not, but I'm finna go ahead and get out of here before I pass out. <sighs> Stain game right though. I don't know what degrees it is, but it feel like a goddamn honey. Ha! <sighs> Stain game. I like that training regimen. I ain't gonna hold you. Put my balls in here. Put my backpack in here. I right, just put everything in the car. Boy, boy, boy. My ass is tired just from kicking the ball against the wall. It could be the heat. I'm gonna blame it on the heat. Look at that sun. I'm finna blame it on the heat. Oh! The air condition feel good, boy. Let me cut the damn music down. Hey, for the takeaways from that training, why is my left leg better than my right leg? I'm supposed to be right-legged. I know I'm right-handed, but I was doing better with my damn left leg versus my right leg. I definitely overdid it. 200 was too much. Maybe I should be a 50 each leg. That next step was go definitely was gonna be beneficial to me. Kicking like you was shooting a regular goal. That's the main thing I need to focus on. But a lot of y'all say I need to work on my passes first. So that's what I did. My ass is tired. MC Dallas into me long game tomorrow, man. I'm gonna try to make an in real life video once a week. I'm finna go home. I'm finna lay my ass down. 100 goddamn degrees, man. It's 100 degrees. I'm out here trying to get better, man. It's about time I'm, I, I get better. I wanna go to one of them goddamn side man charity football matches. And when I come, I wanna show out too. I don't just wanna go there and nut up. I wanna show out to score goddamn goals. Or D up. <sighs> Stay gay. Go ahead, go home. Go to the crib, man. I might upload this. I might come back and do a part two. Or just include it in the same video. I might just do a part two. But y'all know I'm lazy, man. Hey. I'm out.